Hello, welcome to Draw Academy, a place where learning becomes much easier. So today I'll be showing you how you can find the dimensions of derived quantities in physics. So let's go to the basis of dimension. In physics, we have fundamental quantities, which is length, time, and mass. So, in dimension, the dimension of length is represented as L, the dimension of time is represented as T, and the dimension of mass is represented as M. So, if we are asked to find the dimension of force, suppose we are asked to find the dimension of force, write out its formula which is mass times acceleration now before we can get the dimension of force we'll have to get its component into its fundamental quantities so we have mass already in its fundamental quantity we have m times acceleration is velocity over time change velocity over time so we still have velocity as a derived quantity we have to take velocity to its fundamental quantity so we have mass times velocity is what distance over time divided by time t so our force will be equal to mass times distance over t squared so now each of them are in their fundamental quantities you can now translate it to a dimension so we have f dimension of force will be m capital letter m which is dimension of mass times the dimension of distance which is capital letter m over the dimension of time which is t squared so we have m l t raised power of minus 2 but now we don't need to solve for that purpose because we already know what the dimension of force is, so pressure P will be equal to ML T raised power of minus 2 over area. Now, area is me measured in meter square, so we'll have L square. So it becomes pressure equal to ML raised power of minus 2 over L square. So one of these L will cancel this L. So we'll have P equal to M. L raised power minus 1, T raised power minus 2. So I'll be giving you a tax to get derived quantities and learn their dimension. So when you're asked to get the dimension of force, you just know that it's MLT raised power minus 2. And when you're asked to get the dimension of power, you already know it. So you get with acquainted to the dimensions of common derived quantities. I know you enjoyed this video. If you are yet to subscribe, kindly hit the subscription button for more tutorial videos. Thank you.